Well, I, I think you have to uh, to attribute it to the fantastic job again, uh, our front office is doing is in, in, in putting talented people in this building. Um, and obviously, it was a very hard decision. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a competitive football team. We all understand the nature of our sport, and it's our responsibility to put the best possible guys out there. How has Robert Quinn looked in practice, and what will he add to the team's pass rush? Yeah, he's got speed. He looks fresh. He looks really good. Um, we're pleased where he is right now. And then obviously, again, he's, he's a tenacious pass defender, as is, and uh, he's chomping at the bit. We're chomping at the bit to get him back out there on the field, no doubt. Still up in the air right now. Um, so we got guys that can play. Obviously, again, we all understand our our idea by, uh, behind it all is again this next man up ideology. That's the philosophy behind it. So still up in the air. We'll see on game day. What do you like about Thompson? Just talk about Derek Thompson and just what how he looks for you and what he's able to do. Yeah, he's he's looked good since he's been back from injury. Obviously, again, he's been out a couple of weeks with his ankle. Um, again, we had uh, had the chance to get him back last week. Did a fantastic job out there on teams and uh, in practice, he has looked well. What about uh, Donovan Wilson, coach? Mm -hmm. Yeah, same idea. Like I said, it's competitive, clear across the board. Our whole entire defense and everybody is battling for playing time. So we just got him back. He's been doing a really good job out there for us. And uh, again, we'll make that decision on game day. How do you think the secondary has looked this week? I mean, so far, two games, you guys have played pretty well. Mm -hmm. What's the year overall? Yeah, very demanding of our standard, you know, and at the end of the day, that's all that's going to matter. And I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of the same talk and um, we're very demanding. And uh, we, we all we all know that, you know, we're, we're, we're pushing for right again, this mythical ridge line. If you guys haven't heard me speak before about it and, it, and, it, and, it, and its greatness is one thing, but there, there's another place to go. You know, like there's another place to go. So we know what it feels like. We know what it looks like. And and really, at the end of it all, it's it's constant and never ending improvement. So that's where our focus is. We'll never be satisfied. Yeah, pass rush, right? Pass rush. No doubt about it. Um, I say I, I just can't wait to see him get out there, run, hit, do what he loves to do. Um, and he fits our defense. There's no doubt about it. So we just want to be able to get everybody out there and get into a groove. Is he a little underrated as a run defender, too? I, I would say so. Sure, no question about it. You wouldn't last this long in the league without being able to, to defend a run, right? You have to earn the right to, pa uh, to, to pass rush. So we, we do a great job on first and second down. That's when you earn the right to rush. And obviously, again, that's where he has made his hay. As far as being able to anticipate the number of snaps he can play after a layoff, is he in a little bit different position than, than Crawford and Lawrence were and that he was able to go through all the offseason season stuff and, and did some stuff and – yeah, training camp I, I would say so physically. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, again, him not coming off uh, lower body injuries yeah. or surgeries or, and, and things of that nature. Um, but, yeah, he was able to go through camp with us, and uh, he, he's in phenomenal shape. That, that is the one thing that has stood out about watching him practice is uh, he, did, he did a fantastic job wherever he was of keeping himself in great shape. Chris, good method to the decision to let Taco go. Was any of the personality related? No, no, not at all. Not at all. No one in this building had an issue with Taco. Like I said, he did everything that he possibly could for us. And at the end of the day, like I say it's, it's a numbers thing. And sometimes that's the way it works. Again, we are in a competitive environment. We've got a lot of good players here. You know, in terms of guys getting hurt, you know this is coming. Do you feel like you're ready for it, or do you not know it until you see the game? Uh, yeah, as the coming back from injury? Yeah, Pardon yeah, me. Yeah, you know, guys, new guys coming in. Yeah. You. For the guys we have. Yeah, we're, we're ready. It's, it's next man up. Like said, if, if we've been spending our time not being prepared for our opportunity, then we're wrong. That's not professionalism. So everyone is always one play away when you're not the starter. And you never know when it's going to happen. So we, we all of us must be prepared. Coach, what has Tristan Hill shown over the past uh, few weeks? Yeah. That he merits an opportunity on Sunday. Sure, they, that he's growing. Right again, it's just understanding our style, understanding our standard, and obviously as a rookie, it's the hardest thing because again, how demanding that we are. Um, but he's done a really good job of again of bouncing back each and every single week, maintaining his humility, and just coming to work every day. What did you think of Byron Jones getting that start and just kind of getting more snaps than, than the first week? Yeah, pleased with him. Yeah, absolutely pleased with him. Um, we definitely want that play back down in the red zone. Uh, that, that's first and foremost. Um, but we'll get, get him back in the rhythm in regards to being able to stop those plays right there. It's uh, been a while since he's had the chance to be challenged in, in, in that fashion. But again, first play of the game, you know, like I said, they, they try to go deep on him, you know, and he's there 
stride for stride with a, with a guy that last week showed that he has awesome speed. So that was really good to see. Um, so we're absolutely ecstatic to have him back out there. Were you guys kind of expecting that maybe something like that happens? Maybe not on the first play, but someone to try and kind of test him to the seat? Yeah, no, on, on the first play. Okay. No, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. On the first play. I said, every time you step out there, it's first play awareness. There is no doubt about it. Every drive starter, especially again, when you know a team has speed and obviously again, relative to where they are on the field, you, know, that's, you have to absolutely be aware for it and prepare for it as a corner. Chris, is there anything uh, when you're preparing for a team that's been maligned and is 0-2 and gotten beaten up, is there anything different that, as a coach you do differently to make sure your your guys aren't complacent or no. overlooking them? Or? No, no. That's it. It's it's we we compete against our standard. You know, I said our our opponents are never going to matter. It's about us. We'll prepare for our opponents. We'll be prepared for plays that you know, we may or may not see. It, it has absolutely nothing to ever do with our opponent. Like I said, it's our standard. We compete against our standard. Hey, Coach, last year, I know we're very early in the season, but last year you guys were 29th, I believe, on third down, getting teams off the field. This year you're right at the top. Mm -hmm. Can you pinpoint any one particular thing, or is it something that you put emphasis on offseason in the training camp? Yeah, it's, it's been an emphasis. Um, I'll say um, a couple of guys that uh, you, could, you could point your finger to is uh, Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis, you know, those guys being able to come on the field in those critical situations. Uh, again, we'll run a little bit more dime for matchups and things like that. So uh, it's just being able to cover them down tight, understanding situationally what we're going to see. But then even above that, it's doing a better job on first and second down and forcing them into third down situations that are more beneficial for us. After the Washington game, Jalen Smith said, we're going to be great defense, we're going to get more sacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's been close, and the ball has come out fast, but there's there's no doubt about it. We have to get the quarterback on the ground, and then we have to capitalize on our opportunities. I say there's three of them that are out there. First play of the game, um, you know, X had one, um, Jeff has one, and like and, and, and those are situations where we know we absolutely need to capitalize and take the ball away right there. So the cool part is that we are getting our hands on the ball, but that's it. We do want to finish, and we do recognize that in order for us to be great, yeah, Jalen's absolutely right. It has to happen. Is that the step, again, from being outstanding to a great defense? Is that the step to, to force more turnovers to get some things? Is, is that how you delineate it? Well, it's to score. Yeah, it's, it's, it's to take the ball away and score. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, we, we, we want to be able to put points on the board for our football team. How did Covington do in the snaps for Antoine last week, and what do you guys like <clears throat> about him in that yeah, he's a stud in there. Um, like I said, big body, good feet, getting off the football, explosive up the field. Yeah, he did a good job filling in. So like I said, we're, we're, we're excited about um, obviously getting him being able to get out there, have the opportunity to start and, and get a lot of playing time. How do you, within the framework of this defense, obviously what they do, but when you have two younger guys that are developing the rapport of playing with the, next to each other, mm -hmm. like Leighton and, and Jalen Smith, get, can you talk about how they play within the framework of your defense, but also just them where they are, kind of learning each other and their skills complementing and what that what that means. Yeah, I, going no, I believe it's something that just happens organically. You know, it's just naturally over time you get a feel for who you're out there because you're connected. We're all connected, and um, uh, during preparation, you know, we, we begin to figure out and understand. Obviously, again, going through camp where you know everyone's strengths, everyone's weaknesses, especially again for the guy that you're playing next to. And then knowing again where where you could you could expect him to be on the field relative to where he could expect you to be on the field. So it, it's just something that happens naturally. And the more time that we spend around one another, you know, I said it's the whole family idea. You know, is that we we all grow, we all get to learn each other each and every single day.